Ever since the Minecraft 1.9 update in 2016, ice boat drifting has been a satisfying way to experience the real-life thrill of motorsports and the art of driving a car sideways. Maybe you've been summoned to a 1v1, or you're in a Mr. Beast challenge with a $5,000 fridge on the line, or maybe you're in a tournament with some of the biggest Minecraft YouTubers of all time and everyone's complaining about the ice boat racing being too hard. So the event organizers remove it. Whichever the case, I'll be getting you up to speed on boat racing in Minecraft, how to get you out of the grass and flying around the turns. I'm Adam, and I'm joined by my buddy Faded Gaming, a boat racing noob. The map we're playing on is the Appleseed Test Track, which you can get at the link down below. Just as when you get into a fresh car, of course, you gotta adjust the seat to make yourself comfortable. So go ahead, if you prefer first or third person, take your pick. I think you're a bit of a maniac if you like first person, but I'll try not to judge. Get your favorite boat color, and let's get right into this. Now, Faded, you've done some boat racing before, but uh, tell me, what parts of this do you find are so hard that you just want to die on the inside? I'm just falling off the track all the time. I can never stay, like, on it. You really find difficulty. Oh, God. Just, just every time. Off. Well, there you have it, folks. The prime objective with boat racing is to follow the turns. But on low friction surfaces like ice, this is pretty hard to do. You could easily miss your turns. The first concept to always keep in the back of your head is the racing line. This line is the fastest way around the track. You need to follow it religiously. Take an example here where I have a 90 degree turn to the left. I want to get from point A to point B as fast as possible. And to do so, I need to carry speed through this corner. Now go ahead, pause the video, and draw out the fastest line through this turn. There we go, that looks good. If you like being a lawnmower, this would have been your answer. Taking the inside line and plowing right into the grass. On the other hand, if you're a Chad, or a Jennifer, You'd notice that by taking the outside line, coming in, and letting yourself swing wide right afterwards, you can serve as much speed possible. Simply put, the outside line is way smoother than taking the inside line and taking a very steep turn. But look at what we also discovered, a little guy called the Apex. The Apex is a word to describe the point on the inside of a turn which you want to just shave right past. Sometimes you'll even see a turn that has multiple apexes. The key is not to get too close to the point where you're both being slowed down, but that you're right on the edge of your seat. Now that you know where to position yourself along the track as you follow the racing line, the second key factor to know is when to turn in. Back to the left-hand turn I made right here, we know to take the outside line, but what if you have a massive straightaway leading up to that turn? When the hell are you supposed to start turning your boat in? If you start turning in too early, then you're going to eat the grass with your buddy Apex. If you start turning in too late, then you're gonna eat the grass with your buddy who took the inside line. But if you ask Goldilocks, what's the right time to turn in, she'll probably tell you it's somewhere in between. Now this part of boat racing can take some time to practice properly, but if you pay close attention to the braking markers on the side, they can indicate to you when to start turning in. On to point number three now, you have to know what is the correct angle of your boat. The fact of the matter is that when you go forward on a boat, you can think of it like having a thruster right behind you. With the angle that you position yourself at, you can control how much of your thrust is accelerating you forward, turning you into the turn, or being used to even slow you down. For instance, if you see a small kink in the road, then you know only a small amount of angle is actually needed to make it. Take it easy, alright? However, if you do see a big sharper turn coming ahead, then a much deeper angle is needed for you to follow the racing line. This is what we like to call in the drifting industry, the reverse entry. So here's a practice method. If you want, try to go from one 90 degree angle to the next, but stop specifically at each point. This way it'll give you really good control for how to initiate an angle change and also how to stop one quickly if needed. This will be really crucial for when you're beaming down a highway at 100 kilometers an hour and you gotta be able to do a quick reverse entry but not overshoot it. And there you have it folks, now you can turn left. Assuming you want to do more than a NASCAR oval, you're gonna need to be able to chain multiple turns together. After turning in at the right time, taking the correct angle, and nailing the exit, you might have another turn coming up right ahead of you. And this is where your knowledge of the racing line needs to come into play. But what if the racing line is taking weird bends into following turns? Sometimes turning the other way just won't cut it. And a faster way to make a turn while slowing yourself down is to do a twist tie 360 maneuver, where you spin the boat around and you do a 360 to get out. Now this part of boat racing is a cheeky one, overtaking people. Unfortunately, because of Mojang's somewhat janky implementation of boats, there's a little bit of lag when you're trying to follow other people. You might have seen this in some of my previous racing highlights where you can get instantly stopped if you tap the rear end of a boat that you're trying to follow. This is because the actual locations of players that you're trying to follow are always about 2-3 milliseconds out of sync from their actual positions. Meaning that the version of them that you're actually seeing is a little bit behind their real position. And because of this bug, you always want to avoid bumping the rear end of people right ahead of you. 
and instead always look to be able to somehow undercut them on the turns. For example, if they're taking a bad inside line, then you can try to take it to the outside and cut back on them once they take a visit with the lawn. Let's just see your drift skills right now, Faded. Oh my god, dude, these are pristine drift skills. Boys drifting all over the place. Pristine to the highest quality. And definitely way faster. Percentage. Easily. Indefinitely faster. Indefinitely. Indefinitely faster. There we e go. 